Now then, welcome back to another episode on the Nemgo Patreon server. How are you doing today? Welcome back. It's been a while. It's been uh, a good week since I've been on here, really. And I've just spent a few hours just chilling out, just sorting things out and moving things around and making things pretty. Uh, <laughs> we spent a lot of time on this big build up above me. The, the great big steampunky house. Um, and I'm quite pleased with it so far. There's still additions to make. Uh, but the surroundings lend itself beautifully to it. The big epic mountainside and all that kind of stuff all make it look pretty cool. Uh, Ego has been away for a little while in Pokemon Go land. So there's no real developments down in this side of things down here. But I have been doing a few bits and pieces down here. Because this is where the resources are that we've gathered so far. So a lot of crafting has taken place down here. But I have moved a lot of blocks and bits and pieces from here upstairs. Where I'm now storing blocks. Uh, one of the things that I want to start with today is putting my armor on for a start. Uh, one of the things I want to start off with today is making a mailbox. Now, there has been um, a few people on the server who are using the forestry mailboxes. And I want to be able to receive my mail. Uh, as you can see in the top corner there, I have three letters available to me. And I haven't collected them yet. Uh, where did I put the... Oh, I'll put the crafting table upstairs, didn't I? Uh, have we got any wood left down here? Or have I taken it all away? I've taken it all away. Let's go into here. Let's use the other crafting table. Uh, the one in the centre. So, today I want to make the mailbox, which is fairly simple. I need three pieces of tin, and then I should be able to receive my mail. So we'll do that first. One, two, three. That's it. Uh, I, don't, I really don't want to take everything upstairs with me. I want to leave all of the met metals and things down there where we're going to possibly sort out the auto smelting and things in the future. I don't want to put too much into this house. This house is has a purpose and I want to use it as a purpose for aesthetically pleasing jobs. That's the purpose of the place. And one of the things I've done so far is set up some storage for blocks and brought all the blocks up. Uh, let's have a quick sleep. Make it day. I get to go this away and this away and this away and bed. Yes, there's plenty of things that I want to put into this place, but the main thing is going to make it aesthetics. Aesthetics for builds and things. Uh, so this is aesthetically pleasing. I will say it. <laughs> Aesthetically pleasing stuff. Uh, and other things are going to be more so. Three three of those chests. There we go. And over here. So yeah, I've got assigned places for different blocks everywhere. And we've got a mailbox. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. And I think I probably want to put that just simply on a, a basic, basic fence there we go so this will be this will be good for outside the house yeah so what do we got in here well we've got a wooden storage area i'm using uh, storage drawers to keep things tidy i haven't done any automated putting things away in the right places type stuff yet because i haven't made a drawer controller yet uh, i don't think we've got too much quartz at the minute so i've uh, i've left that off anyway i didn't want to do it um by automated i want to put things away manually that'll do because i also wanted to set things up into different areas so we've got different sections on and i want to put some trims along the top and things like that so today i will be getting on with some of that stuff and just refining some of the bits and pieces that we've got uh where to put my mailbox though where to put my mailbox now, I could put my mailbox up here outside the house, I suppose. Uh, Foxy joined the game. How you doing? Um, I could put my mailbox up here. Or I could put it outside of the chunk boundary. So that uh, people can put things in chests for us as well. Speaking of which, we got a delivery, a special delivery the other day. I don't know who it's from, though. But somebody on the server comes out here and drops things off in here for us. Because those chunks are ours, so we can't do much about it. 
Uh, but there is an Ego's pickaxe with Silk Touch and a Nemson's pickaxe with Silk Touch. So I'll grab that. Thank you very much, whoever left me that. And I think, I think therefore I shall put the the uh, mailbox just there. Why not? <laughs> Why not indeed? Just have a mailbox right there. Because, you know. Well, let's see what we got. We got a letter from Suami921. And again, and again, three letters. Okay, so we know who on the server is doing letters right now. There we go. And that gets rid of the little thing in the top left-hand corner of my screen saying that I've got mail. So we'll look at the first one, see what we've got. Uh, hello, I was hoping you to have a mailbox so you can buy baked potatoes at my trade station called Potatoes. I hope you buy some. Well, there's some stamps. Thank you very much. And then what? Is that a letter that I've read? So I just put it to one side. And what's in here? Hope you're going to use a forestry, forestry trading station as a means to trade stuff. And the letters are easy to make. Yes. Okay. Good. Thank you. And this one is... Here, have some stamps. <laughs> Thank you. Some more stamps. So we've got one end stamps and ten end stamps. I don't know what all the stamps are about, but there we go. That's cool. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. So now we've got a forestry mailbox. Probably tidy this up a little bit so um, Ego and Nemson have some kind of building out here that's a, uh, a mail building because people do like to come to our place and drop off little things like this. There's some apiaries here as well, which is nice. To go with what I've been working on in the background to make a load of um, uh, busy bees do stuff. But these don't seem to have done anything right now. Um, there's there's bees working in here. And I've put them in a few times just to get them to work. But they don't seem to have changed any of the tree leaves at the minute. Maybe I'm doing something wrong this time around. I don't know. Uh, but they've been there for a while. I've got all my bees and stuff in here. I might just grab those apiaries and see if those work better. Uh, and set those up differently for the next time. Because, well, it might be that the bee boxes, these uh, these things here, these bee houses, are not up to what they're supposed to do. Maybe I need the apiaries to make that particular thing work. So I'll dump them in there for now. And I'll sort that out later when that life cycle's finished to the queen. Um, but there's the other thing that I wanted to get done. And that is setting up some bits and pieces around here. To try and finalise this room a little bit more. Uh, I've got my chisel and bits bags here. And I was thinking along the lines of how to finish off these structures. Because obviously the practicalities of them are there. The storage drawers are in the right places. But I need to kind of finish off the top there. Now I could potentially just go with some half slabs. And put some half slabs over the top. That would that was a suggestion I was thinking along the lines of. Uh, just popping them there. Let's have another one. And pop that there. That could be one suggestion for sorting that out. I also think I need some kind of lighting source in the middle of the room because it's a bit dark in the middle of the room. It'd be nice to have a bit more lighting. Um, but also another possibility would be to use the, the chisel and bits stuff. So this is oak planks. So let's see now. We can place down, we can cycle through to get a plane like that. Place the plane down. Was that all the chiseled bits I got? Wow. Okay. Let's let's take it back then. Let's take it back. Uh, we want to take back the large... No, small cube. Connected plane. Connected plane. I want to take the connected plane. Okay, so I'm going to need some more oak wood in that case then. So we'll get a plank of oak wood. Put that down and grab a couple of planes there. Place the planes down. And get me, get me, get me some more. And basically chop this down into single planes. Gimme, give gimme. Give there we go. And then if I hack this, it should turn up in this plane format. And then we can put those up on top of things like this to do a ceiling in job. 
like that and just do a little lip around the top just an edge uh, one of the things that I want to do in this workshop is create different flooring designs flooring patterns and the chisel and bits will allow me to do very ornate things with different designs so be able to do things like this there we go well it doesn't make any difference there but there it possibly will make a big difference so let's see about just taking those back down I'll, uh, I'll grab these back. I'm getting a lot of frame rate issues. Maybe it's the chisel and bits that I've been using around here. Uh, it's potentially something on my computer trying to update. Because I don't always get this. But it could also be that the chisel and bits is uh, playing with my frame rate a little bit. I don't know. Uh, we'll find out some later date. Let's throw that in there. Okay. And now we'll take these from there like that there we go and place on here there we go and now if i add this hold on that's not how i wanted it to go is it let's take that back off and finish that one off do a double stack that's not right either nope okay take that back i'm gonna have to use this one two three and make those come to me so i can put those in the right places there we go and place this down here there 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 and put this on the top there okay didn't quite want to do the thing that i wanted it to do because i haven't got enough blocks take this and this and this there we go and place them down on there there we go so just kind of covering things like that. But then I can bring it down a couple as well. Just to add a little bit more detail coming down. I can even arch it over in some way, shape or form as well. There's lots of different things you can do with chisel and bits. And I like the idea of being able to do all these things. But at the same time it's very fiddly work. So a lot of it is not going to get done on camera. Let's go down three like that let's take that one off there okay so we can kind of kind of start working a curve on bits like that and add some detail into the framework around it now i can also change it to be small cubes so that we could have a few bits like this on there and bring these down a touch like this so we can have kind of like pillars and notches and bits and pieces coming down the side of the window to create a window frame that this ornate piece is making happen okay something like that to get started and then to add a little bit of detail down the sides i'm going to add a line of bricks or a line of pieces just to give that a little bit more curvature in the center there and i also want to bring it across this way so if you see how this is formatting, you put it exactly on the pixel you want and then it comes across in the way that you expect it to, like that. So all I'm doing now is just adding in a couple of lines in each of these places just to give us a little bit of a frame to the glass. Just a nice simple bit of frame to the glass, nothing too much, nothing too special. And I can also bring these across this way. So you can see that it's showing where it's going to go, which way round it's going to go. If you just look really closely, you can see the frame showing us where it's intending on being. And it goes the opposite way to where you expect in some cases. Uh, so we're going to go down there and we can go across this section here. And bring this out like that. There we go. So now that is going down we want to put some of the connected plane ones on to bring that down another couple of blocks or another couple of pixels should i say down another couple of pixels into that to give us a, a nice curvature on the window and it, it makes this feel like it's all one piece of uh, furniture all tied in nicely into one piece of furniture uh, and even though I've got things connected down the side here, down the back, uh, this is going to start looking 
like a connected piece of furniture. Uh, I, I could take these things away. So take these out. And we would see the walls. I don't know if I want that type of visual to it. The same sort of thing would happen over on this side as well. Like so. And they would make them feel a little bit more individual pieces. Uh, so this is connected plane, so I could do the, the connected plane on here. I think I went up three pixels here. Yeah, three pixels. One, two, three. Two, three. 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 So that kind of ties that in. We could potentially do the sides as well, but because these are half blocks, as it were, these are half drawers, it won't check it out quite the same way, which is a little bit of a pain. Um, but we can make furniture. Furniture that has detail. And I can also take these away as well. So, for instance, if I take away... Uh, if I take it into the single bit mode, I can, while I've got the chisel in my inventory, I can take bits out of the section. So I can left click to take away pieces and add those little chunks into my inventory. So I can slowly but surely chisel it out to make a little bit more ornate detail. Uh, what I think I want to do for this section though is do not take it all back a little ways, a plane, plane it off a little bit. So plane that bit off, down one, plane that bit off and plane that bit off just so it sets slightly in from the rest of the stuff to make it a little bit more of a clean look or a less clean look, a bit more ornate look. So now we've got that little ridge over the top there. Which, to me, makes it more interesting. Now, if I do the the single bit again, I can add in the bits down here that I want, just to give us a little bit more detail here. Uh, let's go really fine detail. Let's go down to there on both sides. So we're going there and there on both sides. And you can see by the, the, the outline block behind where it's going to be in relation, which, which block it's connected to. And that's a fairly important feature that I've learned, is how to do this particular slow build-up of bits and pieces. Chisel and bits. Right, so now we've got a basic kind of oak frame and oak shell, right? What I want to try and do next is work on something of a pattern inside it. So we've got spruce plank bits here. Let's see if we can add the spruce plank bits into our design. Yes, we can. So now we can add multiple different types and colours into the same kind of design area. Uh, so it's going to be half and half wood-wise. So I'll bring this down and kind of give it an extra bit of feature like this. I could potentially do it with a shiny metal and things like that as well. Inlay things with metal a bit later on. But I can kind of do a little do a little pattern design across like this. And there's three. So we're doing the same on this side, but missing that last piece. Uh, so we're going down to here. Can I, can I get in the right place? That's the only trouble, is the fine detail of it all. Like so. Fine detail is a blessing and a curse at this rate. Okay, we come out there and then we've got one, two, three blocks there. Okay, so it's minute detail just to give us some, uh, some detail work inside it. Now if I go with a line there we go now I can start bringing these things out across here two runs within the oak runs that we already got like that there we go and we add a touch of class a touch of detail to it now obviously there's a lot more things that we can do uh, I mean for instance 
I was also looking at doing something with the chiseled wool bit, so just to give it like a, a white edge to the uh, We need to change to a single piece again. Uh, or we could do connected plane, actually, and go with that there, just to fill in the lines, like so. And then do a single bit, single bit, like there. Mm, and 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 make a make a pattern from that. See all these little touches and details that we can add to the game to make our own constructed blocks. Like right. so, you see where it's going now. You see where it's coming to. Uh, you see what I'm trying to achieve now. I could also, 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 also. Uh, take this trim and bring it up into this section. I don't know whether out is better than in in this particular case. Whether I need to inlay it a little bit closer, a little bit finer. And then I can put lines across there to give us that kind of thing. Um, no, I don't particularly like that though. Uh, but so we could, I'll just quickly take all that back off. And the last bit. There we go. Um, but I could also extract from the inner inlay section and replace it with these as well. So I can do it like that instead if I wanted. So let's let's just go up a little ways. Let's let's just have a little lip, a little hook there, just to see what it's like. So <laughs> there's so much detail work. I'm loving it. So much extra bits that you can take away and add. You can have ages and ages of fun just setting yourself up with a setup like this uh, how high did I go there up to that row there okay so one more one more to come out take it put it there there we go and flying around just gives you so much more availability to do things now another thing here right is potentially doing some kind of curtains around the place that I thought that might look cool um, but generally I just wanted to put a little bit of detail in and one of the overall objectives I wanted to have a go at was doing some sort of flooring company and going out and doing people's floors for them so having having flooring is an interesting proposition with all the different wood types and stuff that I'm going to be going with, uh, let's take spruce planks here. Uh, I was thinking of having, let's see, I uh, need a line. Actually, I need a, a plane first. Uh, having an area in the centre of this room, uh, it's going to have to be like so. Da -da, da -da. Uh, that would be where I'm placing my... Uh, patterns and designs uh, I want a 9x9 nine nine really so let's go two blocks from the edge there two blocks from the edge there or 3x3 three three probably that would be better and then take these out three as well and then these out three so I've got a sort of a design area inside here like that there we go so this is where I can make experimental patterns happen so inside this edge, right, we'll get rid of those blocks, put those away. Inside this edge, I could put some stone bricks. I can I can do like a mosaic pictures and stuff out of it all. So I can now add, um, well, let's go with the connected plane and just go with a like straight. Well, that didn't work. That didn't work because I haven't got anything left. Okay, let's take that out and that out and that out. You can uh, you can take certain blocks. Like here's here's a carpet design. Then shall we say? So I can uh, place all the different carpet design, carpet face. So the main like color scheme of the thing that I'm doing, and then I could take individual pieces. So we take it out in bits, single bits. And we can develop a pattern of some kind. So uh, let's go with um, an N. Why not? So I can take out the chisel bits for all of the bits all the way up here. And then just start 
writing in some message or something. So I can write it in in grey. That's probably not going to be the best colour to do it in. I'd need some better colours. But you see, I can add in the patterns around the place. So we've got two there. So let's go around and about here as well. And that is then one, two, three, four, five, six by one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not trying an end anymore. I'm now just trying to do a single pattern for you to see on video. So we go around like this. There we go. Oh, I didn't want that one to go there. Give me that back. Right, so we can have like squares put into it and I can change this up a little bit as well and make it go so that we've got overlapping squares three there and a couple there uh, does this is this gonna look right I need four five I have to get me bearings with this one two three four five give me that and then that and then come down here and then duplicate the pattern over and over again design design the flooring how I want it All right so this is pattern achieved bring that round here I'll take that back I need that wool back in there thank you there oh man such detail work And there. Okay, so I can design my floor pattern and then I can come along and I can pick the floor up and it stays with that particular design in it so I can place this in somebody else's house. I can design a little section here and then move it over to this section and build a pattern around it and do kind of connected textures for people and make a flooring design. Now, I believe there is a way of setting it all up so that you can copy a pattern. Uh, chisel and bits. So we've got some kind of paper. Here we go. Uh, positive chisel design. Right click to write. Right click to chisel place craft with bits and bags. Uh, negative chisel design. Mouse wheel to rotate. And a mirror chisel design. Okay, so there's three there that I want to test out on. This one requires a paper, water bucket, and lapis. This one is with redstone, and this one is with glowstone. Okay, so let me just get those bits and pieces, and we'll see if we can copy this back into there. Okay, let's see if this works the way I think it might work. Put a little bit of this in, a little bit of that in, and a little bit of that in. We get one of those. Empty the bucket. That's nice. Okay, good. So then we just keep refilling the bucket and adding it to it. Okay, awesome. Can I do it in a shapeless crafting? Yes, I can. Awesome. Okay. So let's get the first one of each and hope for the best because I've never used this before. And there we go. All right. Oop, throw the bucket away, why don't I? Let's get another bucket of water just in case I need it while I'm up here. So we've got that. That's producing the mirror or the copy of things. Okay, so first up, I guess I'm going to need some of these stone bricks chiseled off because I didn't get enough before. So uh, let's grab some of these, put them in my bag. They should all just go straight into my bag, which is fairly good. Plenty of those. Good, good. All right. And then we've got the stone bricks and the wool, which we need. So positive chisel, right click to write, right click to chisel place or craft with bits bag. Okay, so right click that. We've copied it by the looks of it. It says we have a copy. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's written. So now, all right, it's now showing where that can go. Uh-huh. Copy it onto this. I can't copy it into there for some reason. Why not? Um, maybe because I can only copy it into that. Oh yeah, look. Now I can copy that pattern. I can just right click that pattern all over the place. Oh, look at that. That is awesome, isn't it? So 
this is kind of like I make the pattern in the first place, right? Like this. I make the pattern in the first place. And then I write this down, as in I make one of these and write it down. And that becomes the pattern that I can then place on people's floor. So I can take the basic wool pattern, uh, the wool plane, or whichever base component I want, lay their floor with that, and then come over with a pattern and place it down afterwards. That is pretty dang cool, isn't it? And I can change the rotation of it as well by changing the rotation I've got here. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So I can change it to be all inside. Can I change it to be all inside? Yeah. Uh, let's go around that way. And it automatically swaps all the chisel bits around for me. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I like. I like it. Now that's just a very simple version, of course. It'll take a lot more time to mess around with it. Uh, off camera to play around with these things and make them look even better of better 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 but I'm having fun with it and I can now see how I can sell patterns for carpet and maybe special furniture because once you've built things with the individual blocks when you break them you can take them and then replace them somewhere else it's a very very awesome mod and I'm having lots of fun preparing and messing around with it over here. Uh, there are lots of block types and lots of wood types and lots of different colours and things that I can get. And I want to try and make some sort of effort to put a factory into it. And make it so that I can produce all the different colours of dye and all the different colours of wool and all the different tree types and all that kind of stuff. In order to have stock of all of my patterns for my carpeting firm. <laughs> I like it. Daniel, I will see you in the next episode of Nemgo. Thank you very much for watching. See you again soon.